Mark, you've had your first few weeks at Hartlepool United. How have you been settling in? Yeah, really well. Um, I'm enjoying it. The, the lads are great. I've, I've, I know a few of them from, from previous years and previous clubs, playing against them and stuff. So it's, I've settled in really well and um, pleased that the, the season started and we, we, we're moving forward. You obviously you mentioned before that you've seen a few of the Hartlepool games last year. You came to train actually quite early in pre-season. Is, is it kind of what you expected? You know, hard work, a lot of the lads motivating each other? Oh no, it's a great, it's a great group of lads, and then they push each other every day. And I think if to get promoted like they did last season, you, you, that wouldn't happen if you didn't have that kind of group, uh, group of players and, and staff who want to get better and, and work hard to get better. So uh, no, it's a good environment to come into, and, and I'm enjoying it. You experienced Victoria Park the last two games, and how, how was that for you? It, it must have been some noise to come on to. Oh, it's brilliant. Like, it's the, not being fans there for 18 months or whatever it's been, and to, to hear them fans get behind the team the way they did, and, and they probably helped us in that crawler game last week to get a late goal, and I had to give you that little boost to keep keep working, keep trying to get one, and uh, yeah, it was brilliant. Crawley game, Gav Holohan scores, and do you want to talk us through that snake celebration? It's off a... Uh, when we were in the youth team, me and Gav, we used to watch this film, Stomp the Yard, it was called. It was like a dance film, and they did that snake thing. Uh, and we did it in an FA Youth Cup game when I scored in that. And I, I don't believe, we never even spoke with Dana that last week. I think it was just 10 years ago, since we, 10 years after we last played together, it just kind of happened. So uh, it was a good laugh, but hopefully we can have a few more goals between us till the end of the season. Yeah, it's pretty well there. Gav Holohan, a good mate of yours, was that one of the big reasons to come? Yeah, you, you, I spoke to him quite frequently, especially last season. Um, he's someone I've always kept in touch with since I left Hull anyways, but obviously last season I kept in touch and I was watching the games whenever I could, just to, to watch he, him and see how the team was getting on. And, yeah, I really enjoyed watching it and the, the style of football was good and it was it was a big factor in helping me to decide to come here. Personally for yourself, obviously the, the gaffer's said that you know he feels like you may be a few weeks off. Do you, do you feel like you're just getting fitter and stronger as yeah, well? It's just building it up, you know what I mean? It's building them them minutes up and the sharpness up to, to uh to be ready to to start and but I, f I feel good, I'm feeling confident in, in, in it and uh yeah, we just it's up to the gaffer whenever he thinks I'm ready. Barrow away this weekend, our first away trip of the season, and we're back by 615 poolies, and it, it must be exciting to, to go on these away days, and especially now back by fans as well. Ah, oh, yeah, it's brilliant. You, know, you, you, you travel all over the country to see a last season, and with any fans there, just text that edge away, you know what I mean? So to get fans in, and especially the away fans, they'll, they travel that bit more, they always give it a good atmosphere, didn't they? So uh, now I'm looking forward to it and hopefully we can get another three points. Oh, thanks very much. Cheers, thank you very much.